When that little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice, he was going to kill me. Lost thousands out of 1,000. Harder than George. His reach is longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. You're on the beast of the East. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sonny Liston. Person out of Oakland. You can beat somebody in the middle game. You can beat somebody in game. Chopping trees. I've done something new for this fight. You got to be competitive. You got to be competitive. You got to understand chess is a game of, it's a thinking game. It's a thinking man's game. Alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I don't lose. I don't lose, and if you're a good chess player, you don't lose. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone. Play the better you get. See, people want to study. Studying is good, but playing is wonderful. Hospitalize a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Test is like a drug, a drug, a drug. A Up my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. We start our story off with Mr. Untouchable, Mr. Don't Lose a Game, known on the East in the West as John Brooks. Kalat Ali Bacha, when I was a teenager, you know, it's not like checkers, you know, every, every piece got a life of his own. Play them in the shape. Right. You know, you just play them. The more you play, the better you get. See, people want to study. Studying is good, but playing is wonderful. Because when you play, you understand what's going on. It's like reading a book on boxing. If you ain't never boxed, you can't read a thousand books on boxing because when you get in the rain, you'll get knocked out. You, you, you got to feel what's going on. That's like chess. You got to feel the uh, strength of the game. I got older now, you know. See, I was a master 40 something years ago. Mm. You know. So I got older, so it's just, I just love the game now. Because when you become good, you don't even recognize it. It's something that happens overnight. You just put in the work, be dedicated, have love for the game, and uh, always be respected. I oh, never knew I was going to be a master. Right. I just wanted to be one. The most phenomenal thing about the end game is when you start playing chess in the beginning, the king is really like the weakest piece on the board. Right. Because you're protected. But more you trade off more material, more material, you get down to kings and rooks, kings and bishops. Now your king becomes the most strongest piece on the board because now you're not protecting it. It's out there on the battlefield fighting with you. So this now it's fighting with you, yeah. yeah. This is the end game. This would be an end game. Something like end game. You can trade off all the pieces. You got the kings, pirates, or king. Or, and can't say that. Because I always thought it was like the middle. Because if you get a good middle going, your end going to be easy. Can't say that. Because you could be the person out of open. You could be somebody in the middle game. You could be somebody in the end game. You know, you could be somebody in three moves with chess. So it just, yeah. it depends on what I'm you I'm the master of the four move checkmate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really about what your opponent allows, you know. And another key role about chess, people understand is you got to be in great condition. You know, you go to a tournament, people be sounding crazy. You can play a tournament game, 40 moves in two hours, sudden death in 30. Hmm. You play a four hour game. Dang. Sitting at the board, you know what I'm saying? Four hour game. So and you got to be able to be able to sit there and stay focused. Because I know my intention span ain't going to break after 20 minutes. I mean, I've been playing chess for 20 years. I blank out at the board. Yeah. I started <laughs> imagining stuff. Even times I was at the tournament, like I tell my kids, I actually fell asleep at the board. Clock running, slobbing at the board, sleep, woke up, made a move. So how do you, like, that's something weird. How do you train your mind to, to say, like, okay, um, I don't even know how to exit. How do you... Build up your condition. How I like, build up what? Mentally? Yeah, like mentally to be My able mind. to sit at the board for four hours. Well, any serious chess player know, you know, you already studying, you already got your moves, what you gonna play. So that's that's no problem. When you know you got an opening. 
often it's like scripted moves that you can just throw out without even thinking. I know I'm gonna play this, I know I'm gonna play this, I know I'm gonna play that. Uh, that's not no problem. Uh, just building your mind up, you know, you have to work on tactics, you know, and calculations, and you know, seeing the board, you know, better than the other opponent, but being in shape does play a better role in your health because you can get tired, rest broken, and you know your chest IQ can go down. And like you said, one move can cost you a game, especially playing in a big money tournament. So do you ever get like frustrated when someone they be sitting there for one hour trying to figure out one move, and, and then they sit there for another hour figure like, so, so do you get frustrated when that happens? Not gonna say that, I mean, when you play chess, that just becomes a part. You know, that's you have folks that's deep thinkers. You know, you have folks that sit there, sit there and think at look at the board or position 30, 40 minutes trying to calculate the best position you have. Then you have players that just don't think at all. You know, some folks are not deep thinkers or anal uh, you know, analyzers of the board. Do I get so, so where do you like so where's you? Is you like the person that think quick or the person that think long? I've never lost a game on time. <laughs> Never lost a game on time. That'd be my slow push. That's a standard time troll game in Iowa. Uh, oh, you better with um, no time chess then? No, I mean, I play a lot of speed chess because that's what we do in Detroit. We play a lot of speed chess, but right. I can calculate 10, 15 minutes. Am I a deep thinker? I can be, but I tend to just play what I feel. My name is Dominic Johnson. Well, I started as a little kid watching my father and his friend play chess, and you know, I was always interested in the game. Marcus Williams, Ho Lee, Hart Plaza, going down there just getting my head cracked by all the hustles. Cameron Tolliver, started playing, um, I want to say about fourth or fifth grade, my dad taught me. Uh, we had a chess board and we started playing on it. I have to go with the tournament players. You find tournament players to uh, study games and go over games a lot more than street players. They basically play games and remember their games and other games, but they really rarely go over their games and strive to get better. Tournament, but the streets got some killers in it. It's a whole different dynamic. You have to talk, talk crazy, you know, yeah. money on money. Ellie John, for sure. Ellie John. John, John, John for sure. Uh, I mean, it's a lot. It's a couple baby killers out there around the way, you know. But I would say killer that I know, John. John Brooks been a legend for so long. He could have got further, but he stopped at a peak, and he just amazing. Like even now, he's still battling grandmasters. Like they was just regular players. But I was what? What was he playing? And he played a system, and I'm used to somebody playing book, somebody playing. Um, like a pattern, he just came out with his own little system and it was like, it confused me, he demolished me. Uh, put in the time, like you can't, there's no short change in the game. You gotta study, you gotta put in the work, get your lumps. Now you got technology out now, so you can go online, you can read, and just put in the time. You put in the time, you're not gonna be soft for long. It's all about the mindset of chess. Um, when you lose, you get better. You have to realize that whenever you lose, you gotta take something out of every loss and try to get better. It's much practice with stronger players and go over your games as much as possible because a lot of people want to get strong and become massive but they don't want to put in the hard work. So you just match your competition, you know, understand understand what you're up against so you don't get, you know, discouraged when you're playing somebody who is a master and you just learn how to play, you know. Don't get discouraged. Understand this is something that everybody go through. Everybody who got good at chess got their ass with you. Well, I don't lose. I don't lose, and if you're a good chess player, you don't lose. Because, <laughs> this is the thing, when you lose a game, it's just a win because you have to strive for yourself to look over that game and see where you went wrong, and it will never happen again if you prep for it. That's preparation, um, diligence. Every day you have to look at the game. Uh, it can't be a day where you just don't look at any chess. Uh, you might take one rest day off, we don't look at anything, but every day you're supposed to do 
you're supposed to at least look at some tactics or some some games. Right. You know, just two or three a day. You know, anything would help. You know, build your game up. My brother showed me how the pieces move, and then he went over to overseas in the army and just started playing in the streets. So I started figuring out. You know, well, first off, I had a coach that started me off, Mr. Lewis. He teach, taught me the basics, and you know, I strive for stronger, strongness out of other people. I searched and seen different games and people play, and as I found out other people's games, I started learning different styles and copying their styles and improving it and studying the game more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I started playing tournament chess. I got serious, probably around like. I'm going to say six words. Eastside, I definitely want to rank myself top ten, if not top five. Because you actually have to think about your moves for a much longer period of time. Um, the game should be two, three, even six hours at the most. I got a decent, probably like eighth grade, ninth grade. I could say there's a difference, you know, just from the attention. You know, the money you ever start making in tournaments. It's just how people would treat you, you know, they, they respect you. You know, on the beats of the East. Get it. I started at a very young age, man. I was about 14, 15 when I started, man. For the guys around the hood, they was playing, you know, I decided to play, took a look at it, and, uh, I, I wind up liking it, you know? You yeah. might go move by move at first. Then it came to be a war game to me. Yeah. Well, that's about, uh, after a couple of years of playing, I started gaining a little, a little game plan. You know right. what I'm saying? I started being to have a little strategy in it. Eric is, uh, he's, uh, he got, he's, Derek got a good game. You know, I, I think he got a good, very good chess future. Well, my thing is, is I think studying is the best solution. So younger people getting, you know, like get you a book or something, and maybe study some of those uh, old grandmaster games or some of the games, you know, and uh, learn the basics and pretty much catch on and get combinations of tactical books, and that'll bring you a long way. Going to it. Me is to first of all, you got to play chess. You develop a uh, after you play for a while, you develop a fighting game. In it. And then the, what the books do is they help you organize it and get you to know what pieces to, where to move your pieces on the right squares. Because in chess, the squares that's important. There's certain squares on the board that mean something that you got to control. Chess is a real competitive game, you know, it's a game that who can see the most moves basically under pressure. Right. That's what I look at it as. You know, but it's, it's, it's a game of pressure to me. If you're taking the wrong, you going the wrong route. You should have took Fifth Avenue, babe. You should have took Fifth Avenue, babe. Come on, don't you run for me. Don't you fucking run for me. Okay. Huh? Don't you run okay. for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking run for me, bro. Give me this too. <clears throat> Give me this too. Why you in the taking business? Why you off into the taking business, bro? Right there. Right there. Put that. Put that. Put that. It's like a game of poker. You gotta keep a straight face even if you up under pressure. You know what I'm saying? Because pressure is pressure, you know. But if you if you can if you can if you can just keep calm and cool, your your opponent might just, you know, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, you know, sometimes you can have a fear of a, your opponent seeing something, but um, he might not see it. You know, if you know, if he don't, you know, you might be up under pressure that he see it, but he might not see it. Right, right, right. You know, it's a game of, you know, that, you know, if he, if he don't see it, you might survive. All words, huh? You feel it good. But I say John Brooks is uh, is one of the most one of them. He's a very hard player. He's very defensive. It's hard to beat him. He, he's uh, 
you know, he's a defensive player, you know, he he know the game pretty good. Cause if he like you feel it good, I don't. If you feel it good, yeah. Damn, bro. It's all birds, man. If you feel it good. Want to play on your ass, boss? Want to play on your ass, man? You can have that, boss. Yeah. 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 Ye
a girl named Faith Harrell. You know, which all my kids is phenomenal. You know, all of them is phenomenal. And if they keep on playing, like I tell them all the time, I started when I was in the fourth grade. I didn't get start getting my recognition to middle school, high school. They're already in elementary school, so they already got a step ahead of me at that uh, the pace that they is. So it's just up to them to see how far they're gonna take it. But the majority of all my kids is phenomenal. Master. You gotta be competitive. You gotta be competitive. You gotta understand chess is a game of, it's a thinking game, it's a thinking man's game. And uh, you have to put the work in, you know. It's been it's been games where I've had, you know, I should've won that out of blue, so it's gotta be competitive. You know, you gotta hate, like me, I hate losing. I hate losing, and chess is like a drug to me. I lose games, I go home, I get on my computer, I get, you know, it's, I study. So make, to me, making a good, becoming a great chess player what makes a great chess player is just really putting the work in and not wanting to quit because it's been for example it's been tournaments i go to as you get to the dark there's big money tournaments you know you pay your entry fee your hotel fee uh your travel that could be a couple hundred to a thousand dollars you go out there you don't place in the money now you you know you're broke you're in the hole you know you're gonna give up and quit uh, you just get up you know, and try the next tournament. So just, you know, keep on playing. What inside of you, because I know you said that, and that's with almost anything in life. What inside you, or what, in, yeah, so what inside you helps you and be like, I did bad, I lost, I didn't come close, but let me get better. What what picks you up so when you're down? Because a lot of people so in this world just stay down. What picks you back up? You just watch me play John. You just, you just saw that. <laughs> me and John Brooks, he just beat me 15, 16 games straight. Yeah. I'm going, after this over, I'm going right there in front of my laptop, get my board out and try to make improvements. It's just the fact that, to me, I don't like the fact that, even though chess is a thinking game, and I just don't like the fact that I feel like after I lose a game, somebody outsmarted me. That just, ugh, irks me. Yeah. <sighs> Michael Clark. Um, my dad taught me when I was 11, and um, I probably didn't start taking it serious though till about 10 years after that. Lovely. Well, uh, my mom came home one day and uh, she said, "Did you know it's a chess club in Universal Mall?" And um, you know, so I checked that out, and for some reason, that just got me back into the game. All these were in the position for now. Get my ass back. Dominic getting hot. Why you tell me uh, he's getting hot, Rob? So I ain't know until we hit Chicago. Dom, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gonna hear about that for, for the rest, rest of this of year, life. man. <laughs> uh, the best players is always gonna be tournament because you have people uh, that are more so studying a ton. And um, so I think the longer the time control and it's going to be the stronger players and standard times but you're going to get a lot of good street players too um, that like to play blitz and they ain't got a rating necessarily but they can push push real good h4 is your threat to me, h4 is your threat boss that's really your threat um a, a fundamental understanding of the game um know the difference between beginning middle and end game um, know uh, when to play positionally, when to open up the position, um, look for tactics. Uh, I can go on and on, but for the most part, having fundamentals of the game. I'm going to keep all of it. Hey, where did it come from? This is the bread and butter right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Floor me. This uh, the best chess player I played as a player um, in Chicago um, named Tansel Turgut. I played him and uh, Team North Championship uh, 2017. And uh, I think at the time his rating was 2360. Um, he was definitely, to date, the strongest player I've played. Touch it. Wherever yeah. it's going, you no, move it. Trying. No, you touch the key. Oh, yeah. Touch touch. Touch. Yeah, when you play touch, I already attacked, established it. Oh, yeah. he, he want that move. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to get that, that move. move. He you touch that move. I sure do. Touch Man, move. come on. Now. We no. It's playing more so than anything. Uh, you gotta, you gotta play. I mean, that, that's that's the main thing. Getting different looks on the board, um, getting familiar with positions and the pieces. It, it's playing. That's that's what I would tell anybody. Um, 
I, I, I would prefer um, playing over studying. Um, you know, I do both, but uh, to answer your question, playing. <laughs> you get all that shit. Hey, you just fall. This is draw. I know you draw. This, you, you ain't gonna. You you ain't that. Yeah, he cheated. This is draw. I'm telling. <laughs> Um, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of ways you can deal with losing. How I, how I deal with losing, I get pissed off and uh, go back to the drawing board and study and know that it's not going to happen a second time. But, you know, people deal with losing different ways. Some people stop playing entirely because the, the losses hurt too much. Um, but I'm not built like that, so I'm going to study and know I'm going to get back at you. And... Um, uh, that's how I deal with it. Yeah, all right, all right, Rob, man. All right, Rob. I've right, had contact right, with you since, since, oh, yeah, since you by right, my way. All right, my name is Rocky. All right. How did you get into starting chess? Uh, my father was a chess coach, so my father taught me at a very young age. What is your favorite part about playing chess? The hustle. Have you ever played, like, tournament chess? Of course. Which one is better, tournament or street chess? Uh, tournament. Chess is always the best to me. I just like the structure of it, you know? Uh, you play people that's on your level or better. Um, I just like the competition. How does someone that's like young get good, good at chess? Or how do they get to a good point? Just playing people that's better than you, you know? Uh, playing. Just keep practicing, keep playing, you know? Go over your games that you lose and win. And just, and just keep improving. About losing, how does someone deal with losing? Like, how do they like keep keep from getting discouraged? I mean, everybody lose, you know. Um, you don't, you can't really get discouraged, man. I remember when I was a kid, I always wanted to win. My first loss, I probably cried, you know. But uh, I don't know. It's mental things. Just just keep strong, keep winning. You're gonna win eventually, you know. Oh uh, man, we had a local chess club around my community. And uh, had a couple mouths. I was fortunate to have some older brothers in there that was masters and experts. And uh, they took me up under my wing to start teaching me the ropes. Come on, Don. Okay. Your ass ah. Lionel Davis, called Laser. Yeah, everybody, who, uh, whoever don't know Lionel Davis, go oh, look man. him up. EGM. So. GM level. Um, study all of the games. Try to follow the major tournaments. Like Anon, Kramnik, Magnus Carlsen, the top super grandmasters. Make sure you follow any tournaments that they play in. Follow, you can learn a lot from their commentary too. Uh, for example, right now I'm following the Sinkfield Cup, which is featuring Maurice Ashley, which is a black grandmaster, and Yasser Sarawan and Jennifer Shahadi. But through their commentary, I'm learning so much because they're going over positional ideas and complexities that I didn't even know about. Besides that, you got to study the books. you got to put in some book time. But try to find masters and experts that you can continuously play all the time. Yeah, that's technique. That's technique, my brother. That's technique right there. You, both, you know what I'm saying? You come here, you know, you get, then I'm cut to the seventh on me. You both check. Check. What's that? Check. Show proper knee, Jack. Okay, okay, go to F6. Stay. Right. Exactly. Show proper knee, bro. Uh -huh. Nah, we block all that. I'm gonna need all that. I'm scared. 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 i I don't know what you're talking that about. Was bad. I think, I, think I still got a chance. Oh my God! Let me get out of the chair. Boy, he's something else. I gotta, I gotta try else, something. I swear, forgot. Get that up out of here. Now, you try to hurt like somebody. No, I don't like that. Why like you always trying to hurt trap. me? You trap. No, I'm not trapped. Come on, I got you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. It got silent real quick. Man. Oh. Let's go this way, boy. Well, let's go Damn. this way with it. Wait, man, you know. Okay, we, okay. I, 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 no, I just, it was what it okay. was. Just, just okay. what it was. <laughs> just what it was. This brother trying to break me, man. <laughs> I'm getting ready to I'm going to just bro. move no, on. No, no, I'm clear here. I'm Get clear out here. Way. Nah, well, let's just keep okay. that. Keep let's, keep this, okay. let's keep this protected. Okay. Right. okay, yeah. Oh, this night. I need that. All right, let's open it now. Okay, I'm taking it. Oh, thank you. Oh.
Yeah, for the goodies. Well, that's good for yeah. me. Yeah, this is good what for me. What you thought? You <laughs> saw. <laughs> Trying to run your clock out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that that Eastside grass oh, man. Yeah. We don't look at the clock. Three seconds. I got, I got caught up running my mouth, man. That, I was supposed to win that. Yeah, you should have won that. Brooklyn Park in games, baby. Yeah. I was queening you. You ain't queening no way. Let me hold this. I'm queening. Where the balls? I got a queen. Could I hold that real quick? Pause too. I'm going to queen. I'm going to get exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the yeah, kid D. talking. Yeah, D. Uh, Queen, What's Quinky. That's it. Okay. I just want you to move that. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'll lose this. I'm, first, oh, I'm cutting. Cocky in my time, fam. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's technique. I, I, I oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, te that's technique, my brother. That's what technique you right there. You, both, you know what I'm saying? You come here, you know, you get. Then I'm cut to the seventh on me. Yeah, you both. Check. Check. Yeah. Check. Show proper need, Jack. Yeah. Okay, go down yeah. six, stay. Right. Exactly. No problem, bro. Yeah. Oh, no, we block all that. I'm gonna need all that. Okay, now I'm just come here. Now I'm gonna need that too. What? You gotta I'm gonna get that too. Yeah, you right, you gotta get that. You, you gonna sit here? You want everything? Like part. I'm gonna need that too. Bad. This is bad. Yeah, B4 Guess what? Is bad. That really was bad. I'm gonna bad. need that too. Bad. Yeah, that really was bad. <laughs> oh, my. I thought I was oh, spying up. Okay, let's keep it. Hold on. Let me let me get this. Structure. Okay. You took a loss on that track. I'm glad he recording this. That's a piece. Okay, take it. Oh, he's saying that. Take, take it. You, you, gonna you, have. I mean, I understand. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I understand you, fam. Ain't nothing like that between me and you. Oh, no, no, you trying to bishop me, son. Mm -hmm. You want to draw? You want bishop's eye? You want to draw? Do I get made? No, oh, let me get out. Let me get out. Let me get out of the There we go. Where you gonna go? You in the middle of the center, boy. You should never did that. Uh, nah. Don't oh, disrespect yeah, me at that time. Yeah, he real disrespect. Me. Yeah. Me. Oh dang, he won. Cross jail, baby. <laughs> Cross jail. I'll take you, baby. Cross jail. Bang, dog. As soon as I start recording. <laughs> 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 Ah. You got the man on camera though. I got that on camera. All right. They see the light skin <laughs> hand moving. They know who it is. Tell them, boy, we don't rob a real and cross Jeff. Stone Cold Killer. You ready? Born and raised. Yeah. PJ, yeah. where we born and raised off of? Oh, baby. You know, no, we from Jefferson. You love salt. <clears throat> I make them think, bro. That was nice. You ain't finna go nowhere. Huh? You ain't finna go nowhere right now. No, mama. Is this shit? Nah. Yeah, you get you some. The light skin will bother. Can I have one of your cherries? He got a name. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What's his name? His name Rob. Rob. Yeah. Can I have a cherry, Rob? Absolutely. Thank you. Man, I thought I had a white bishop. Oh, no, he was at court. Who? That's what the line person told you? I got to look for a force move, man. I ain't forcing nothing over here okay, on this guy. Well, on this okay, Quan, I'm taking Thank here. You. Okay, no problem. Get you some pizza, too, mom. Damn. Uh -huh. I want to eat you do? Hey. I ain't playing with you. Do? You gonna open me up? Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Let's open it up. Yeah. You got it. That's you. Okay. Mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, ain't like we the enemy. Oh, he worked. Yeah, you. Hold on, boy. Check. Check. Thank you, my Check. This is Dominic. He, he got it. He good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't playing that foul on the foul. No, you ain't taking no house key or nothing. It's okay, Mama. No keys or nothing. Thank y'all. Okay, hold up, boss. Hold up. I'm something right here. How you think? What you thinking? Brian. Thank you, Brian. Tell him, Rob. Cross Jefferson. I thought he was from Inkster. I don't know where he's from. He's called Jefferson, so he gotta be grimy. He's talking about I'm from Inkster. 